I obviously played for uh, great managers, Alex Ferguson and, um, and Brian Clough, who it was more about man management and managing the group. They weren't really hands-on in terms of the training sessions, but they knew the game inside out. And what I always enjoyed working with them, and I had the same with Martin, with Ireland, they weren't necessarily hands-on coaches, but they knew the game and the, their messages were very straightforward and simple. And Alex Ferguson, I'm sure, if he was sitting here, would be the first to say, we'd almost, I think he criticized me a little bit when I left saying I was trying to run the dressing room, but we did run the dressing room. You know, we did, yeah. not just me, you don't have to be a captain to be a leader, but there was brilliant characters. So we took care of all that. We created, I know I'm always a bit wary of using this word, there was a great culture at Man United where it was like a machine, mm. sort of training sessions. And obviously Alex Ferguson was clever. He had always good coaches, the Steve McLarens, Kiddo, obviously earlier. So the sessions were always good, but the players would make the sessions. You know, it'd always be, everyone would, and it seems strange, people look at you and go, we, we would give it 100% every session we'd done. Doesn't mean to say the, the, the quality was always there, you'd have an off day. But Alex Ferguson would step back and, and almost let the players manage the session and let the coaches get on with it. Yeah. But then I always thought, I look back at my time with Alex Ferguson, all the team talks he had is obviously knowledge of the game. And I think the really brilliant managers almost, they smell what needs to be said in the dressing room. Obviously, there's a famous one, what I said in the book, lads, is Tottenham, you know. And that's, that's probably harsh, probably on Tottenham, but he would come in as a senior player and Gary would, you know, in the dressing room and this team talk, this video, you can be brainwashed with all that stuff. And, and I always felt Alex Ferguson, Brian Clough was the same. I always felt the group of players, they would just say what the group just needed to hear at that particular time, whether it be before the game, yeah. half time. At United, generally speaking, we always played 4-4-2, and it was a case of going at, going at teams. Now it's the odd time in Europe, we might play a three in the middle. So all their instructions were very, very straightforward. I never felt confused with Alex Ferguson. Ironically, the same with Brian Clough. Before my debut at Liverpool, Brian Clough, in the dressing room before the game, and, and, and I kind of have to remind myself of it, he said to me before my debut, he said, I've seen you play, and obviously I'd been playing with the reserves. He says, you can control it. And I said, yeah. He said, you can pass it. I said, yeah, and you can run. And I said, yeah. And he said, well, just do them three things. And that was my career. And people laugh, but a lot of players can't do them things, believe it or not. Sure. A lot of professional players can't control it, pass it or run. They might have one or two of the three. Sure. So I knew I had that, so that was... That was my career in a nutshell. <laughs> obviously, when I went to United after Forest, obviously the higher level you go up, you have to do it quicker and faster, yeah. blah, 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 of course. Um, but Alex Ferguson just, he just kind of, he was good at managing the group. Yeah. Gary mentioned Eric there, for example. He would, he, he'd be clever with Eric. You know, he'd give Eric... Like, for example, it's only a daft little thing, but you'd, obviously United was always smart, club suits and all this, and, and, and very respectful when we travelled, and, and Eric might turn up in a suit with a pair of trainers, whereas if that was one of us, you'd definitely be fine, or you'd be in trouble, whereas, oh, Eric, um, leave him off, he's French, you know, he's... Yeah. He'd be like, fucking hell, yeah. <laughs> and then, because he knew, he'd manage Eric, and he'd go, um, but then Eric would probably win you the game on the Saturday. To me, that's management.